Well, I had this pump sitting here. I figured, hey, I want to make a video and show you how it comes apart. Obviously, everything's hand tight right now, cause so I don't have to get a wrench out every time I want to do something in the video. But here, okay, this is how it will sit in the engine like that. That is the front of the engine. This is the back of the engine. And it goes up against the block. It screws in here. When you take it off, you just take off the two bolts here and you pull it out. Well. And also, you have to take off the lines and stuff. Well, this guy is what wants to fall out. It doesn't, I mean, it won't fall out like this or anything, but when you pull it out, you got to make sure to pull it straight out. If you pull it out and catch it on something, then off it goes into your, uh, into your block and hopefully in your oil pan. But, okay, anyway, here you are. You got your lines here. Obviously, you got this guy. He happens to be hand tight. This one's bent, so um, this guy doesn't spin. Normally, he's supposed to spin and just screw right on, but mine's bent. Somebody bent it. I don't know why. And so it's stiff. Whatever. I don't need it. Okay, there. There. Here's this. Now you got this fuel, this fuel line here. It actually it goes over to the fuel heater. Actually, it goes right over. Like. like now the fuel heater normally has a um, you can see it kind of goes over like that. It normally has a uh, um, barb right here, but I used it for something like that. Okay, so then you just pull that guy off like that. You have to just grab the clamps like that, pull them slide back. And it's going to take a bit of motivating. Okay, then, this guy unscrews. That is half inch NPT. Oop. Half inch NPT there. Keep all these parts in view, sort of. Okay, then, you want to start disassembling it. Normally, there's a little uh, black pusher thing that goes over this um, hand pump thing, but I don't have it. It fell off somewhere and I don't have it up here. Okay, anyway, so you have this guy here. He is a check valve. Can I see that? It's kind of blurry. He is a 14 millimeter uh, O-ring thread. Like the same thing that goes into your um, injector pump. The same, that's the same thread. Same thread as your overflow valve. Your fuel filter is 12 millimeter. Um, O-ring thread, so not the same. Okay, let me actually nice and tight. Nice and loose. And you got this guy. He's right. The first little bit, he's got a spring that's pushing up against him, so it's a little hard to go by hand. But then it's loose. The spring's loose, so it's not gonna fly out. Spring. This guy is just a screen. So you got that there. Screen. And you can't really see. You can see there's a check valve in there. That's actually the plunger. To get that out, what you do is you hold it on your hand and just give it a bop. Like that. Out comes plunger. Out comes the thing. So there's your plunger. You can see check valve. Very simple. No O-rings or anything. This is all metal on metal. Sorry, camera died. Okay, um, as you can see, there's no O-rings between the plunger and the, uh, the, the pump. There's only O-rings, the only O-rings are for this guy, there's an O-ring going into there, and there's another one for this plunger, which I'll show you in a bit. Okay, so, here, take this guy off. Now, again, there's a spring in there that's, um, holding it kind of tight, but, um, there's a, normally a black rubber cup that goes over here. It just uh, kind of squeezes into the screw. So you just pull it, kind of peel it off. Like you would like an O-ring, I guess. You just try to peel it out of the groove and it pull right off. Okay, now you got that. That's your plunger and your spring. Like that. And then you got your O-rings and stuff in there. If you can see. You can see the O-ring. Uh, 
Okay, then the way this pump works is let me just get rid of this. There we are. This way this pump works is okay. You got uh, dirt on your plunger. It doesn't matter. I'll clean it off for you. Shove it too far in. Okay, then you got your oh, you got your check valve here. Okay, so you have this guy is right here is full of fuel. So you when you push it in, the fuel has to go somewhere. So it has to go through this check valve, because there's a check valve here, so it only lets fuel this way, this one only lets fuel this way, so it has to let the fuel out. Then, yeah, when it comes back, it has to suck in fuel. Well, it can't suck in fuel here, so it has to bring it in here. Hence, so in here, out. In here, out. Very simple, not only you have to spring there, so you don't have to pull, push, pull, push, but there, very simple. You can actually see the holes that the, that it goes through. Let's see if I can get it out. There you are. The, the fuel goes through. You take it apart. Okay, well there's the one. That's the one hole it goes through. There's also another hole directly down from it that you can kind of see it. That goes down into here. And then you got take this piston out. Again, push it all in, grab your plunger, wipe it off, and push. Anyway, so how this pump works is you got the check valve in the, in the piston, right? And you got the check valve up here. So the way it works is um, your, okay, your out, your, oh, the piston's over here. It, then, the, the cam lets off, and that spring pushes it that way. Not only did that just push fuel up here to actually pressurize fuel going to your injector pump, but it also sucked more fuel in. So that spring is doing both jobs. Then, the cam pushes it back, and, since the piston goes from here to here, the fuel that was right here goes over, moves to the other side of the piston over to here. Because there's going to be, a, when it goes back, there's going to be a vacuum right here. It has to get, pull fuel from somewhere. And so, since it's a check valve, it transfers fuel over here. Then you got the piston that goes over here, pumps fuel out, sucks more fuel in. So, that is why some people like to want to upgrade the, um, um, the suction fuel line from like 3 eighths. It's actually, it, it says it's 3 eighths, but because it's a metal line, there's just, there's just a lot of restriction in it. Um, as the metal line has a lot of uh, fittings and stuff that uh, actually narrow down to a lot less than 3 eighths, it's quite restrictive. And so you upgrade to, even a rubber line is an upgrade, but rubber line half inch is very common or semi-common, getting more common. Anyway, so, and that's how that works. And obviously to reinstall this stuff, you just take your stuff, make sure it's clean. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, then you go like that. Then you put that in like that. Uh, no, never mind, that's not how you do it. Okay. Here we go. You put in like that, that, that. See now, if you have problems like me, we're trying to, you're trying to push that thing in and then try to thread it in, and it just doesn't, doesn't want to go in because it wants to cross thread. What I found works is you, okay, you put this guy in here, and you just get him in, start in that hole there, and you just you push him in. There's a little um indent on the, um, I'll pull it out and show you. There's a little, uh, you can kind of see the little edge right there. Well, it gets caught in that O-ring, which keeps the spring compressed, so you don't, oh, there we go again. So it doesn't, um, you're not fighting it, which makes life a little easier. Like that. Okay, that's cross red. There you are. Like, when you do this, make sure you do it by hand. If it doesn't want to go, 
you're probably cross-threading it. Just use a little feeling when you do it. <laughs> like that. Then there's an O-ring right, right there that stayed on the pump for me. So that's already in there. Take this, you put it in. This one's easy because the spring's not tight at first. go and this guy just tighten them up <laughs> put them in there's actually supposed to be a seal there but I guess this wasn't sticking to the pump as well as I thought and so I don't know where it is right now which is good because this isn't actually my pump um, this is like a spare so if I ever need to use this one I can just swap over the o-ring so you got that and obviously you just screw this stuff in here um, when you do that, uh, use a little like uh, Vaseline or petroleum jelly on the uh, on your seals and stuff. I mean, or just anywhere, even that plunger and down in here. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Your engine will burn it. It doesn't matter. Um, and um, use a little Paramex two in your threads like this guy, like your eighth inch MP or half inch NPT here. Use a little Paramex two where it you know needs to feel like that. This guy here, he seals with this flange thing. Oop, sorry. It seals with this flange thing here. So, you don't need any, do anything special there. Just th thread it in. Putting a little Vaseline on the threads to keep them um, nice and clean. It wouldn't hurt nothing. So, okay, so there's that. And you get it from here. It's just pop that guy on. Stall him back in. Actually, you stall him back in and pop it on. But, you get it.